we're going to discuss how you can track your Canadian citizenship application. That's a big question that everyone wants to know how they can track their Canadian citizenship application once they have sent out that application using uh, either the paper application uh, route or they have submitted it electronically. Uh, so right after you have submitted your application uh, by online, usually it takes maybe three to five days to receive uh, an application received uh, of submission. And if you have submitted it by paper, usually it takes around two to three weeks for the application to reach IRCC. And then uh, approximately three months afterwards, you will receive uh, an AOR email, uh, which can help you track the application. So the, the old and the previous way to track the application was uh, using ECAS tracker. So if you go on this link, the, which you can find in the comment section, you will be able to go on to this link, uh, which is an online services link. That's called an ECAS, uh, Electronic Client Application Status Tracker. All you have to do is go into this link, uh, select the terms and condition, and then you come onto this form where you can select your client ID, receipt number, application number, landing record number, your PR card, uh, citizenship receipt, COPR number, or the application file number, which you will receive in the AOR email. Using these IDs, uh, you will be able to uh, figure out what your application current status is. And uh, this basically helps you keep a track on where your application is currently and what, what's going on. Uh, very recently, uh, IRCC has released a new tracker, which which is uh, which goes by the link that you receive in your AOR email. Remember, you can register with this uh, tracker only after you have received an AOR for your citizenship application uh, via an email. So that's a confirmation that IRCC has received your application in full with all the documents needed. Only those people can use that email to register after they have received it. You need to have your unique client. You can submit it right here. Uh, and, and that's it. So after you're registered, you will be able to uh, kind of go through your application status. This tracker, this new tracker that ISCC has provided has a lot of detail, a uh, lot more detail as compared to the previous uh, ECAS tracker. With ECAS Tracker, for example, you will be uh, able to figure out where your current application is on and what status. So usually it will say in process or decision made or uh, waiting for oath and stuff like that. With the, with the new tracker, there's a there's lot more detail on it. So you will be able to figure out what status change happened on which date. Uh, and, and what's the next step, what steps are in progress and what's not started right now. So those things um, you will be able to capture in detail. Uh, and then if you have applied in 2021, there's a sheet that uh, we maintain uh, for a lot of community applicants. So you can see there's a lot of uh, detail for different months. Uh, for example, if you go to the month of May, uh, who filed the applications, how many days he has been uh, after uh, in Canada before he sent out the application and stuff like this. So there's, there's a lot of detailed uh, information that we, man, we have maintained here. Uh, you can see processing time comparison in the month of December, November. So there's a lot that we have uh, taken down, but you can register either with a new tracker or use a previous ECAS tracker to track your applications and their current status. Uh, and if your application is not moving, you should be able to request GCMS notes. Uh, and from there, you can track what's going on if your application is not moving forward. Uh, I will leave the link to uh, that video, how to request your GCMS, if in case you don't know about it you can use that video to uh, figure out how to send out a request for GCMS or ATIP notes. Thank you very much. For any questions, please leave them in the comment section.